I've just made a video that's already an hour long trying to collect my thoughts well enough to give you 30 facts about me. I've gotten up to fact number 17. I'm not going to remember what they are because I've not written them down. Because I'm me. However, I'm going to redo this because I fully understand that the reason you have clicked on my 30 facts about me video is that you want some quick, snappy facts just so you can get to know me. And 60 minutes of yabbering on is not going to help you out in that way, is it? No, it's not. You're not going to watch it. This may not end up being 30 things. I don't know. Actually, I really can't be stuffed. <sighs> Thinking up more things. Alright, this is a failed attempt. That's what this is going to be entitled. It's going to have fail somewhere in the title. I'm not really good at playing these things out. Hi guys, it's Jenny. So I thought I would do a 30 things about me. Wait, what is it called? 30 facts about me? So I guess I feel like, oh hey, just go to my website. And then you'll be able to work out who I am. But I realize when I open my blog, it's not really obvious who I am there either. I feel like it used to be more obvious who I was as a person when you looked at my blog. Um, back when I blogged regularly. Then I tried this whole like food blogger thing back in 2012. Uh, but it didn't really work out for me because I'm not disciplined enough to build anything like that really so sharing recipes was really fun for a while there and I was doing it as well as sharing like things that I did with the kids like cooking with them when they're on school holidays and going out to events that were on in London that's the great thing about London there's always something on especially if you have little kids like there'll always be some sort of um, Easter event it's hot in the car so I gotta put the air conditioning for a second. Come on, baby. Calm it down. Yes, we're doing this. I have an insect bite. You probably can't hear me because the air con's on. Um, so this is a really long introduction, that's really not interesting and I'll probably cut. If you're watching it, I didn't cut it, just so you know. Um, so I thought I should do like 30 facts about me. I struggle with this kind of thing because I don't know what's relevant about me today versus relevant about me in the past. What was I talking about? I was talking about my blog. Yeah, sorry, so I got sidetracked because it got hot and I was sweating. So I thought, oh, maybe you don't want to see me sweating. Maybe that wouldn't be pleasant for you. I don't know. Maybe you wouldn't have even noticed. Oh, hey, hey, guys, I noticed that I had a seatbelt on this time. And I undid it for this video. You're welcome. Is that my blind SE? If you're an MBTI or cognitive function junkie like me, isn't my blind SE that made it so that I just like parked my car as I do in an area where I feel I can like talk to the camera? Because I can't do that at home because like people will hear me and that'll be awkward. And, and I have three boys and a husband who are all really loud. Well, three of them are loud. Um... So they never shut up. Even if I'm like, I'm filming a video, could you like keep it down? They'll be noisy. They can't help themselves. Anyway. Um, is it my blind SE that makes me like, I park here, I don't notice anything. Like, it's only from experience with having filmed videos and there being like food in my teeth when I go to edit it. Or boogers up my nose. 
that's the only reason that last time I filmed here, I checked for those two things. And I didn't notice that I was wearing a seatbelt. Is that my blind Essie? Is that why I don't notice things like that? Is that why I'm always a mess? Even though I think I've gotten myself ready to leave the house? I've like missed something really obvious, don't I? I think that is a really horrible cognitive function to lack, SE. I'm a mess constantly and there's nothing I can do about it. I try really hard, but can't do anything. Anyway, so back to the 30 facts about me, if that's what I'm doing. Is that what I'm doing? I don't know. See, I'm going to have to cut all this because who wants to listen to me rambling for eight minutes about nothing? Actually, no, because I already like did a whole thing that I'm going to have to cut from the beginning. So it's probably only been six minutes of nothing. Oh, I'm sweating again. I've got to turn the air con back on. Yeah, and I also always forget to tell you, like, where I am or what I'm doing. But I don't know, maybe other people do that too. But it's like, I know where I am. I drove here. That doesn't seem relevant. Anyway, so. I still didn't finish about the blog thing, did I? Oh, man, I can't stay on task. So. I feel like there was a time when my blog represented me quite well, so you could just go to it and you'd be like, oh, it's a mum with three little kids who's like looking at things in London. Like that's really obvious. But then I tried to do the whole food blog thing. And can I say, if you have an eating disorder, you probably shouldn't try and have a website that's all about like food that you've made and eaten it's not a good idea it's really counterintuitive to like solving your issues <laughs> i've learned this from experience you're welcome for that knowledge there you go that's the first fact i used to have a food blog and i split up those blogs uh, at some point into like a personal like about our trips out and about as a family um, and I like separated out the food blog and that so I had like a blog called chaotically rambling and then there was chaotically me which was always the main website um, but that became my food blog which you know I was trying to do that for a while but yeah, like I said, I'm not very disciplined. So the food, so the food blog thing did not work, and in particular, it didn't work because I was struggling with an eating disorder, and I'd like bake things and then binge eat on the baked goods. So I couldn't bake anything, um, and because I felt like I needed to see. For me, if I make something, I can't say to myself, okay. You've made this chocolate cake, but you don't want to eat the whole cake because that will make you feel bad. So, just eat one piece of cake. Nah, I can't do that. So, I have to just not have the cake in the house. I, I manage myself. I still do. I manage myself. The only reason I'm successful with healthy eating is because I only have healthy food in the house. And if I go stay with someone else and there's unhealthy food in the house, after about a week... I start eating badly. Anyway, was that another fact? See, I sh feel like I share heaps of facts with you guys. They're just in a rambling way, and they're not actually about the description of the video, 